Hey guys, and welcome to my first video of 2022. I wanted to start the year off by looking at a couple of things. First, I'm going to look at a couple of things that can help you get started on your screenplay as a screenwriter. And second, I want to talk about, just for a minute, about a movie that I wrote that's going to be filmed this spring. It's exciting stuff. Stay tuned. <laughs> So to get things going this year, I want to look at a couple of things that can perhaps help you get started on writing that screenplay. You know, the one you've always wanted to write. The first thing I'm going to say is dream big. You've heard all the pep talks. You've perhaps heard all of the inspirational mantras such as go for it and just do it. And there's some truth to that. You just sometimes need to do it. You've read a number of books on screenwriting and no doubt watch plenty of movies and shows. But for some reason, you just can't get yourself motivated to write that script that you have in your head right now. Dreaming big is what anyone does who wants to make it, whether in the world of movies and shows or in business. Anyone who desires to make it big dreams big. I mean, what point would there be in starting a business and thinking to yourself, well, I've put all this money and all this effort into this, but I know it's ultimately going to fail. It makes no sense, does it? Well, the same is true of pretty much everything else in life, especially, and I will say this, especially when it comes to the arts. A budding painter might dream of one day having their works displayed in the Louvre. They're not there right now, but that's the dream. An actor might dream of one day holding that Oscar or starring in that blockbuster. They're not there right now. Maybe they're just starting out, but one day that's the dream. And a screenwriter might dream of one day writing an epic masterpiece. You're not there right now, but that's the dream. So dream big. Number two, although we should dream big, and may I add dream big from the get-go, we should always be realistic too. We should always have both of our feet firmly planted on planet Earth. You know, it's all good and well writing that epic sci-fi masterpiece that will give Star Wars a run for its money, but right now the chances are you're not there yet. You're not at that level in your career as a writer and this means that probably no one is going to take a chance on a small time writer and their massive script not yet at least you need to write and prove yourself first and you need to prove yourself again and again speaking from experience i've written a multitude of scripts that have been filmed and yet i would say that i'm still i'm still a fledgling a baby who has perhaps taken a few steps forward don't get me wrong, it's a great feeling knowing that I'm actually on the road, that I'm actually in my screenwriting journey. But when I look ahead of me, I see that there is still a long road ahead of me. So at this point in my journey, I can spend time writing screenplays with big casts, big stories and big explosions and big costs and wait around hope, hoping that one day somebody is going to pick up my script and choose it over the thousands out there or I can write scripts that are perhaps more realistic, lower budget movies that have more of a chance of being picked up and filmed by a lower budget film company. Ask most people in Hollywood and they will tell you that they worked on smaller projects first to eventually get at the bigger ones. So dream big, but be realistic. The third thing I wanted to share with you today is read, watch and write. You know, there are hundreds of great books available that will help you to get to grips with what it is to be a screenwriter and how to write screenplays. Also, try and read as many scripts as you can. There's no better way. Let me repeat that. No better way, I believe, to learn how to write screenplays than to read scripts. Over the years, I have learned so much from reading scripts. I have read hundreds, perhaps thousands of scripts. I've looked at what works and what doesn't, how to format action and dialogue. And perhaps most importantly, I have learned that there really isn't a one size fits all method to writing screenplays. Sure, there are basic formatting guides we should try and stick to, but read some scripts and you'll quickly see that there are many ways to get the job done. The second thing you can try is watch movies and shows. I cannot emphasize enough the importance of watching movies and shows. As you can see, behind me I have lots of movies and shows. This is just a small sample of my personal collection. And I learn so much from them. As a writer, I watch uh, a lot of these movies and I get so much inspiration. I'm inspired to continue to write as a screenwriter. So watch movies and shows. I mean, it goes without saying, really. Just watch movies and shows. Someone once told me that unless a wannabe screenwriter watches at least one movie every other day 
they have no business writing for the screen. And I kind of I kind of agree with this. You really do need to read scripts and watch movies. And lastly, write. Writers write. It's the mantra that I live by. If you write, then you're a writer. If you don't, well, you know where I'm going with this. But writers write, period. There's no substitute for it. You can dream big. You can be realistic. You can you can read all the books and watch all the movies and shows. But unless you actually put pen to paper, so to speak, the ideas you have here will simply stay put in here, no matter how badly you want to see that movie. And really, that's what this channel is all about. That was my idea, my dream of bringing this channel to you is to, first of all, encourage you to be a screenwriter and then show you how to write scripts should you choose to become one. So I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I have some news to share regarding a script that I wrote last year. Well, the script is called Temptation and I learned just this week that it's been greenlit and will shoot in the spring. I don't have any more details right now on this project, like who the cast are and so on, but I can say that the production team behind this movie are the guys over at Rossetti Productions who I have worked with quite a few times over the last few years. So I'm looking forward to this. I promise when I find out more details then I'll let you guys know. As always I welcome any and all feedback. Please feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to never miss another video again. Well that's it for this video. I'm going to go now and work on something, maybe even write something. So until next time, stay safe out there, keep writing, and peace out.